If you're watching this, Nobby, top man, keep up the good work. Hi, I'm Steve from 1233D. Today it is the Christmas gift guide, guys. We thought it would be a good idea to put out this video to give you guys at home some inspiration to buy the ones that you care for, cherish, and love, in some cases, the gifts that they need for their 3D printing experience. We have reeled off a few of our top choices, and we are going to give you a brief rundown on each of the products that we have mentioned, the reason that you might want to consider purchasing it, and the use that it will give you. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! First up, we have the Polymaker Polybox Dryer. I hear you asking, what do I need this for? It is critical that you keep your filament dry and if you don't keep it dry and it is already wet you need to dry it so the poly box through our testing and review previously is a very very decent piece of kit to allow anybody that already owns a 3d printer to store their filament correctly and have the opportunity to dry it at the same time it works really well it circulates warm air through the box and takes the moist air out you have a built-in humidity gauge there we have it the wrong way around so we have a, a built-in humidity gauge, and as you can see, our filament is not exactly dry. So basically, you pop it in here, you turn it on, you set the material, and you let it dry. Get the humidity down as low as possible, around 30 to 20%. So in that ballpark, you should be good to go. It's more critical with ABS and ASA, TPU. I'm not going to go into the technical ins and outs of it, or the science. Basically, water in your filament. You want to dry it. PLA can become very brittle if it sucks up moisture from the air, which causes it to snap as you are feeding it into your machine. So if you're noticing this happening with your filament, it needs drying. Treat your loved one to a dryer. These are currently on the website in two formats. You can buy the dryer, complete as you see it here, or you can buy the standalone boxes. So you can have multiples of these to store all your filament in and dry them as you need by just simply popping them onto the base. If you would like to see the review on this product, please see the link in the description because we have reviewed this product. So if you want to know more about this and the full in-depth review, check out that video. Next up, choice number two. What good is a 3D printer without 3D filament? We stocked a huge, and I mean a huge range of 3D filaments. Typically, you can't go wrong with PLA. It will print on any machine, doesn't need to be enclosed, doesn't give off any toxic fumes, really easy to print, will produce durable prints for prototyping, model making, and a whole host of other things. We have a varied range of bundles available, so you can buy filaments that are made into pre-made bundles in specific colours or finishes, but we do have a whole pleasure of other types of filament as well, whether it be glitter, transparent, tough, high speed, so on and so on. The list just goes on and on and on. We will leave links to those in the description. And we have done some videos on our own brand filaments as well. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, please be sure to double back and check out those from the playlist below. Are you going to put them on a playlist? I've just created Chris Moore work. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! He needs to earn his worth. Next up! So you might be asking yourself, what is this magical bottle that Steve is holding in front of the camera? Uh, it isn't any because I can't get it out of the box. 3D adhesive spray. So for those of you who aren't aware what 3D adhesive spray is, it is an ideal stock of it, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please buy this for your loved ones, your children, or anybody that you know that owns a 3D printer. Because this is the key to all magical success. Are you sure about that? I will grab a build plate and give you a demonstration. Here we have a very sexy model, by the way. This is a, a Prusa Core 1L. I shall remove the plate and I shall show you how to apply said spray. In the bottle, you are getting 150 mils of spray. It is a pump bottle, so it's not an aerosol. You literally take your build plate out, give it a very, very light misting. Just like that. No more, no less. That is ideal. So you're going to use minimal amounts of this and it will last you a long time. It'll probably last you till next Christmas. So what that does is it provides our build plate with a very, very tacky surface, which allows you to print any material on it. But not only does it act as an adhesive spray for while printing, it also acts as a release agent when cooled. So for those of you who use smooth plates or whatever else, you will know 
PET G can be very, very sticky and hard to remove from certain build plates. We found through our testing that adhesive spray like this aids in releasing the print once it's cooled down because it basically puts a film between the actual build plate and your print giving effectively a masked area that will peel away with the print once it's cooled it helps to give your build plate longevity in life makes your prints easier to remove but the most important part of it is it helps to prevent warping or prints lifting from the build plate. Definitely grab yourself a bottle of this. It's not very expensive and we will leave a link to this in the description. And like I said before, it will last a relatively long time as long as you don't go mental with it. Next up. Okay, next up we have the intelligent 3D pen. Now you may be asking yourself, what do I want a 3D pen for? Well, if your children are into crafting or making things or just like, fiddling around with arty crafty things this is an ideal gift but if your better half or your worst half however you want to choose to call them already does a lot of 3d printing and they print parts in multiple pieces that require joining together that is another very useful addition for their arsenal basically what the 3d pen will allow them to do is physically weld the parts together with filament matching the printed material that they've actually produced those parts from so it doubles up for anybody looking to get into 3D printing with your children, ideal gift, sparks their creativity and allows them to create all kinds of wonderful things. But if you're experienced and you own a 3D printer already, you should definitely look at having one of these in your kit. Not only will it weld parts together like I've already said, it will also help to fill in any gaps that you've encountered through a print while under extrusion. So if you haven't got one of these already, they are an ideal stocking filler. So we will leave a link to these in the description. These are available in black and white, currently available on our website. Next up, we have the Modify 3D Pro tool. Now I don't have the original box for this because this is our working model that we use. Another invaluable tool if you already 3D print. The Pro version, which is the one that I've selected because it gives you more options, is my preferred model. With this, it's effectively very similar to a soldering iron. You have a little LCD screen on there and you've got a plus and minus buttons so you can increase or decrease the temperature as required to suit the material that you are working with. This will effectively clean up supports. It will smooth out rough edges on FDM prints. It will help you to insert heat inserts. It will also weld parts together by melting the two materials and obviously that's welding parts together. So it's a very versatile tool. I find that if you're wanting to tack two parts together, this is very quick. Some people will go down the super glue route or the 3D gloop route or whatever. This is instant. It pretty much, you like weld it together with a couple of stitches, let it cool and it's adhered. I shall give you a demonstration of that right now. Chris, the cameraman, has very kindly and provided me with, with two props in our own brand PLA filament, I must add. Basically, he sent me the challenge of actually showing you how this works. So what I've selected on here is I've selected like a, an angled knife attachment. I will show the other attachments that you get with it as well. This one for welding parts is probably the best suited. So all I would do is basically create a little bit of a channel down the parts that I'm wanting to weld together. And then you have a couple of options from this point. You could then cut yourself some matching filament and basically melt that in by running the tool over it pushing it down into that crevice that you've just created or you could very simply just get the blade and then literally run it across the back just etching into the material like so i won't do all of it let that cool for a couple of seconds and now you can see we have effectively welded the parts together now if we did the same on the opposite side or we actually created a channel right the way down the back of the part and filled it with actual filament that would be incredibly strong I wouldn't need any glue. And then if you're going on for cosplay props or whatever else, it's simply a case of sanding down your PLA filament, filling in any little spots with body filler or whatever you choose to use, giving that a sand and it'll be ready for prime and it will be a lot stronger than just super glue. And you get a little tub filled with a load of other little bits and pieces. So there's pretty much everything in there that are gonna suit a whole range of different applications. If you're struggling to think of something to buy somebody that you love or care for, a gift to go on along with their 3D printer or their hobby, this again is a very worthy consideration. So check this out. The link for this product will also be in the description. Next! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! This is where we take things up a notch. So these are our mid-ranged 
gift ideas. First up is the Elegoo Century Carbon. Now, we picked this because, honestly, I believe, and I stand by it, that for the money, you are not going to get anything else better than this currently. It, it is a fully enclosed Core XY machine with fully hardened stilled hot end nozzle, so it will allow you to print anything out of the box as it is stock. I mean, anything up to ABS, ASA, and those filaments that have carbon fiber or glass fiber, reinforced fibers in them. You might hear yourselves asking the question, is this really suitable for my 12 year old child? Absolutely yes. The price point for this machine and the ease of use is pretty much unrivaled at the moment. We've give this rigorous testing across a whole range of different materials and levels of detail and it has never never not performed we've printed a lot of lightweight pla along with pccf abs asacf pla but yep this machine just performs every single time so currently 239 pounds and 50 pence for less than 250 quid to get a fully enclosed core xy machine with a double-sided textured PEI build plate with a hardened steel nozzle and hardened gear extruder is pretty much unheard of. Couple that with the fact that Elegoo are currently in the process of working on an AMS style colour change unit for this very machine, it is a very worthy competitor. We have reviewed the Elegoo Century Carbon. We will link the video in the description. So if you haven't already seen that, please be sure to double back and check that out so you can see our full thoughts and obviously prints that this machine has produced. If you are interested in this, definitely go and check out that video because that will give you a better idea as to how this works and how it performs and everything else. Take a look at it. Definitely worth grabbing yourself a bargain. Okay, next up, Creality Ender 3 V3 SE bundle. So this is currently on sale on the website under bundles with the printer, a kilogram spool of filament and a bottle of the adhesive spray. All four ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? Sit down, brace yourselves, £160. If you're looking for a gift for one of your children or whatever who's come home from school and said I want a 3D printer and you've like jumped out of your skin thinking oh my lord thousands of pounds are going to need to be saved and spent on this extravagant equipment you're very wrong 160 quid it's affordable it's a good introduction into 3d printing it is a bed slinger based machine so like the century carbon that i've already mentioned this isn't enclosed it will limit the amount of materials that you print but it is still a perfect entry point machine it will quite happily print pla all day every day so if your child wants to like produce a prototype part of something that is designed in a in a DT lesson on CAD or whatever, they can absolutely do that with this machine. If you wanted to test whether they're actually serious, because we all know what teenagers are like, they go through fads, so they want this, and then they lose interest. This isn't a huge investment. You're gonna spend 160 quid. You've got a kilogram of filament, and this spray will keep you entertained for quite a number of prints, gauging their interest, and obviously then, Filament is just a replenishable item. You can buy more spools. So you haven't put a big investment in buying this machine. If you just want to test the water, see if 3D prints for you or anyone that you know, definitely check out this machine. This is our own personal model, hence to why it looks a bit used, because it is. It's basically a very budget entry grade machine, but don't let that put you off because it is capable of producing very high quality prints as well. Next up, next up, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Creality CR Scan Ferret Pro. Not the furry ferret that has a long tail, long skinny body, and sharp teeth that bite you. I will show you what you get in the box firstly. You have a, an instruction manual. Then inside the box, we have a rather nice looking case. And then inside the case, we have these gizmos. Here is the actual scanner. And it comes with a range of attachments. I'm not going to assemble it all and put it all together. Here's a handle which will then double up as a tripod. So this puts out a Wi-Fi hotspot to connect your laptop. There's the tripod attachment for the handle. So you can basically set it up on the tripod with the handle. And then use a turntable to basically rotate with your item on it that you're wishing to scan. It will then produce a 3D scan for you. 
it will then give you your model on screen, which you can then, with a jiggery poker of AI, clean it up, fill any holes, join multiple scans together. We've tested the bigger rubber to this, the Raptor, and a couple of other scanners. They all work exactly the same, but for an entry price point scanner, whether you're wanting to replicate ornaments or figurines or whatever, this is definitely a worthy consideration. Current price for this, 200 and 89 pounds everything is included that you will need in the box so you don't need to buy anything else i think the only thing that you might need to add because they are a consumable is the little marker dots they're not a necessity but for some applications like high metallic surfaces gloss finishes i would suggest you use the marker dots because it just makes the scanning process a lot easier the scanner will basically use those dots as reference points when you're scanning so if it does lose the tracking for any reason while scanning you don't have to start again it will pick up where you left off. There are plenty of videos on this and we have done a video on the Raptor scanner so we will link that in the description so you can see what that scanner is all about and how to use it and what's achievable but that will give you a good insight into what the budget option would be capable of. Next up! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! We always save the best till last. This is, in my humble opinion, the best. If you're looking for a new FDM filament printer and you have looked at all of the other offerings that are currently available. We all have preferred brands. We all have our go-tos. I can't stress this enough. I'm very fortunate to be in the position that I am because I get to play with all of these goodies on a daily basis. As my own honest opinion, as a 3D printing nerd, if you like, because yeah, I, I've been 3D printing well before I got this job. This would be the one for me. And I'll hear some of you screaming at your screens. Why? It's overpriced. It costs how much? How can they justify charging that much for this machine? It's very simple. Quality, reliability, consistency, product support, after sales support, upgradability, open source. The list goes on and on and on. But knowing what I know now, this will be my go-to and is my go-to because I own one myself. The machine itself produces exceptionally good quality prints every single time. And that's regardless to what material you're printing with. If we're looking to produce something relatively quickly that gives us the results that we're looking for, these are our go-to machines, guys, because we know that they'll perform and they'll perform without issue. So if you're a tight deadline or you've got a schedule to keep to, this is gonna help you save time which helps you save money. We've done various reviews on this machine and the Core 1L. We will leave links to those videos in the description. Check out those. And if you've got any questions about this machine, please do drop it in the comments box below and we will do our best to answer you. Again, a whole range of accessories, build plates, nozzles, so on, are all available on the website. We will leave links to those in the description. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up my Christmas gift guide 2025. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've seen anything that you like or you've got questions about, please do drop it in the comments box below and I or Chris will answer you as quickly as possible. Enjoy Christmas. Bye-bye for now. As always, we aim to have the most competitive 3D printer prices on the market. If you see any of our printers being sold by a mainstream retailer for less, please drop us an email using the link in the description and we'll do our very best to beat their price. Also, if you're watching from outside the UK, check the description for links to our European 123 3D sister stores.